Arizona really just reopened way too early and way too fast. The governor said that uh, he generally believes local control is the best form of government, but not during a pandemic. If you look at the models, it looks like July is going to be a really, really tough month here in Arizona. Arizona is one of the many Sunbelt states seeing record surges in COVID-19 cases. Since early June, it's seen more than a 200% spike. Not only did we reopen, but we reopened at a very rapid pace. Nightclubs opened up in Arizona with no masks and no social distancing. That sent a cue that we had defeated this. We moved largely to a voluntary system, both for businesses and for people. And so as a result, Arizona's behavior really deteriorated, I would say, almost into a pre-pandemic. We saw the real increase starting really one incubation period uh, after the end of the stay-at-home order. We saw elective surgeries ramp up really just as that stay-at-home order expired. So it was everything around this in the course of a week, really. I mean, there was no phased approach to this. One of the first cases in the United States was actually in Arizona. We had someone who had traveled from China, and so we started response early. Our governor was one of the latest to close the state and one of the first to reopen the state without any precautions. That's not good public health advice. We have become a hot spot, not just for the country, but internationally. So the trajectory that we are on is not a good one. Urgent cares are also concerning. So when we're seeing a lot of data from an urgent care clinic or from a private medical office, that means on one hand, it's good that the patients aren't sick enough to require medical, medical care or hospitalization, but it also means that they're out and about in the community. And across the board now, it's a much broader demographic. I'm definitely seeing more young patients in their 20s and 30s. The average age of diagnosis in Arizona has been declining. We believe the majority of the cases in Arizona are indoor transmission. We've been so focused on saying, go outside, do your activities outside. In Arizona, when it's 110 degrees outside, you can't tell people to go out in the middle of the day. They're gonna wanna go to the mall or restaurants or movie theaters more, which we know increase risk for transmission. So there's a lot of components to the Arizona and Southwestern summer that I think we might not be accounting for when it comes to this, this outbreak right now. Uh, looking at the last two tranches of data, the last two weeks of data, there is a trend. And the trend is headed in the wrong direction. We look at states like Florida and Oklahoma, which are seeing really pretty significant spikes right now. And unfortunately, I think Arizona might be a good learning lesson in terms of pushing in such a fast, rapid approach that we don't give things time to work and to safely occur.